consistency at quarterback that Northwestern needed this year. Good word I think. Not a lot of spectacular numbers from Peyton Ramsey but overall good play. Cam Porter who has burst upon the you know, Ramsey came in and gave some confidence and leadership to the offense. They'll fake it to Porter. And Ramsey can move a little bit. Nice delivery on the move for a first down to his tight end John Rain. Good in the pocket with the intermediate passes. And they're going quicker tempo at the start of this game. Lots of time to throw. And again, Ramsey to his tight end. And it's not a huge. You want to grind it out and keep the football. Receiver in motion. They'll hand it to that receiver for a gain around the right side. Riley Lease, who's playing. But wasn't offered. It didn't get a scholarship. Bobcat, which is the perfect game for Northwestern. Big Auburn. Yeah, I think we might call his name a few times. Look at him. Steps right into the gap. The, the focal point of that defense. You know, K.J. Britt got hurt against Georgia, has not played since, said his goodbye to the Auburn program in the lead-up to this bowl game. An open receiver, but a stumble. The pass speed come out the quarterback. Well, they sure look like they're going to bring some pressure here on third down. Ramsey has a little time and throws to an open target. That's a Northwestern first down, and Riley Lees breaks one tackle, couldn't quite break a second. The strength of this Northwestern team, that offensive line. And off straight ahead run and a power run from Cam Porter. Tough kid, just a true freshman. So he, he may have to tote the rock 20, 25 times today. Play fake for Ramsey on second down. And he's going deep and caught in stride for a Northwestern touchdown. Facing press coverage against Damio. And watch him take an inside release. Now look what happens here. You've got a guy looking in the backfield and doesn't realize he's running into his own man. That's number 13, Ladarius Tennyson, the freshman. And that freed up Jockey Bowman. For whatever reason, they just didn't play well. I think they're going to play better. We'll see. Peyton Ramsey and Northwestern. Offense back on the field, first and 10. And Ramsey will throw down the sideline. Nice adjustment. Leaping up to make the catch. On Ramsey, they haven't been close to him yet. Well, you, you know, in bowl games, you have a chance to see some players who haven't done much. Ramsey just got swarmed. Not try and beat him to the edge. Second and 13. Ramsey again. That pressure was initially picked up. He got away. Ramsey being pursued kind of heaves it up and threw it out of bounds. On third and 13. Three-man rush this time. Ramsey will throw. He's got his man open, and what a great catch! Jockey today, life, and it's a, a team full of big personalities, talented players. This has been an up-and-down year for Auburn. Ramsey on third and long. He's going to try to run for it, and he will get tackled in Auburn territory, but well short of first down. This is a part of the fourth and eight is going for it. Well, they've been beating man coverage when they've gotten it. Ramsey. On fourth down, will throw across the middle. Nice delivery. That's a conversion inside the 30. Right. When a coach takes some chances, well, it makes your players happy about it. You get excited about that. Ramsey throws on the move. In stride inside the 20, tripped up around the 15 yard line. But another game that I think it's having their way with them, with their offense. But you just can't give in to that right now. Ray Nero with that catch. Now a little dump down to Porter, who's got it inside the 10 and is spun down and around the. And the quarterback isn't slipping away. You got him with the ball now. Here's Porter. Ready to take the direct snap. He does. Goes straight ahead right into a wall. Nothing there. Up by this Northwestern offensive line. Well, they are missing some guys up front. They're not as deep as they usually are. Rain the tight end in motion. Ramsey on the move with a block. Rain with the catch. And he reaches for the pylon. Well, him. <laughs> Looked to me like Chris Bergen was just fine. He didn't even go down to the turf. Handoff, right side running Northwestern on the final play of the first quarter. A first quarter that has really been all wild so far. 14 0. And the Wildcats have a second down and three as we start quarter number two. Payton Ramsey under center will hand it off to Cam Porter. He got stacked up after leaping over one would be tackle. Translate to your offense. They need something. Tigers do. 
Already eight first downs for Northwestern. And Ramsey, a little misdirection. He went over like he was getting a signal from the sideline, and instead the ball got snapped directly to He does not like to punt the ball away. They got Porter, who's going to try to push it straight ahead, and he will get the first down. So in their own territory, up to 10. Is he good? A true freshman, second team, all Big Ten. Now in the backfield, what a hit. Hello. To get those three yards. Ramsey's going to pitch it to Porter with a blocker out in front, but also a lot of Auburn defenders. No game. Still call it fourth and three. Early second quarter. Ramsey going to throw the ball, and he's got his man, but it's juggled and incomplete. Incomplete. They're permanently. You know, Brian, Auburn fans are certainly passionate. They're excited. What do you want them to know about you coming in here? Well, I said in the press conference, you know, I, I want them to be proud of our. Well, one of them is these guys, when this game is over, they'll go home and, and then you know, being able to connect with our current players. And I've had a chance to do that. Uh, we'll start building towards who we want to be and what we're trying to become um, at Auburn and, and with this group of guys here and the future uh, players that are going to be coming in here as well. Incomplete pass. That'll lead to a fourth down. Brian. Yeah, that is a big question for this Northwestern team. We don't know what he's going to do at the end of this year, whether he's coming back or not. Ramsey will run and duck out of bounds. Big Cat Bryant was in the neighborhood. That's some good scouting. Not that it took a genius to know Peyton, Ram Peyton Manning was going to be an all-time great, but it took a little guts to name your kid after him while he was still at Tennessee. Ramsey steps up and throws across. That one is caught, but a good open field tackle. It's a team that can run the ball. They don't have Tank Bigsby, but still. First and ten for Ramsey and the Wildcats offense. A play fake on first down. Ramsey with Big Cat Bryant in pursuit. Dives ahead to get a couple yards. How about Big Cat? He'll put his hand down. He'll stand up like he is here. Very versatile defensive player. Got blocked off that play. Smoke Monday came up. Runs for Cam Porter all game. He's been bottled up. Third and three. Pocket Ramsey gonna scramble and he will get it. So a nice job. He's not going Nicks with his feet. Well, pitch play to Porter left side with a good block out front. And again, one of the better run plays for Northwestern and play well in this game. He thought he wasn't healthy all year. He wanted to show his real talent on the field in Orlando. Ramsey's going down. A late linebacker blitz a critical part you let the offensive line develop its blocking and then you come flying through into the gap and Papo did including an offensive lineman grab him and wrestle him toward the ground screen pass and that one pretty well set up by Northwestern smoke Monday he's playing a good game here came up to make the cat tackle and that play has Auburn within a point 14 13 still a long way to go here 832 on the clock third quarter Cam Porter trying to get to that corner and when you go to the corner that's about all you're getting huge catch in that first half good blocker from his wide receiver spot play fake Ramsey nowhere to go with the ball does a good job getting out now just trying to run and here comes the speed of Auburn closing speed big time the action from the fans who are here in Orlando. It's third and four. Ramsey give him credit. He made something out of that play. Here comes the Auburn pass rush. Ramsey got rid of it and got it complete to his tight end rain for a Northwestern first down. That was a heck. That was a double hit. So here's Northwestern going for it. They've done it all game long. A motion Ramsey. This is not Ramsey. That's Lees who can throw the ball, but he's going to be upended. A couple years, he's got North Carolina into arguably their biggest bowl game in decades. Porter gets the carry on first down even when you think there's a hole. Second and eight. Ramsey play fake. Ramsey will throw middle and it is caught. What a catch by the tight end rain in Monday because of that play. Smoke Monday's got seven tackles including two behind the line of scrimmage in this game. That's Evan Hull coming around the edge. He got knocked out of bounds after getting cute or overthinking it. Ramsey going to roll right. Ramsey really playing a heck of a game. Just threw that one away. Smart play. Phil holds. And he's asked his quarterbacks to let him know right after this game. Maybe not immediately after that pass complete. And the open field tackle to fight for the first down. Very close. Bowser are both gone. They both left the program. It's 
He's not putting blame on Porter. That one was sort of destined to be blown up right from the start. Career comes to an end this year and missed most of the year with injuries into the last part of the year. Ramsey down the right sideline toward the end zone. It is caught but out of bounds. So caught but no tough in this game. So we'll see. Ramsey will step up and he's going to run with a lot of green in front. He's going to get the first down and more inside the 10. Ramsey touchdown North Rear. If he and Northwestern can get it, they're a quarter away from doing so. Porter with the handoff, breaking tackles. Cam Porter cuts it back inside and lowers the boom at the end of the run. Wow. Ramsey hands off, Porter left side. Another good run for the freshman. Cam Porter ran into his own man and still wouldn't go down. Ended up getting eight, maybe nine yards on that quick tempo. They got Auburn on its heels. Porter again, straight ahead. More tough running from the freshman Cam Porter in the country who are as close as Kevin Steele is. Are they going to give it 20 again? Yes, they are. And this time, Smoke Monday was there to meet Porter, but Porter had 26 yards all game. He's got 44 on this drive. He's got a few more here. Pushing to the goal line. Stop just. Second and goal. Snap it right to Porter. Porter bounces it. Touchdown! That was the Cam Porter. And with the turnover at the head coach spot, I think it's hard to say we're going to get a real Auburn performance today. With the catch. But that said, I, if I were Brian, one. Bo Nix goes in the injury tent. Big Cat is still out there playing at the end of his Auburn career. Porter bounces it left side. Cam Porter, true freshman, first down and more. And I thought he stayed. Wants to take as much time as they can now. Hand off, Porter, a one-man miss. Now gets wrestled to the turf. Jamie and Sherwood still not the case this year, that's for sure. Porter on second down, got hit hard. Since to Jim, a big shoes to fill for Northwestern, because not just this program, men's basketball, women's basketball, all thriving. As the Wildcats give it to Porter, who stays in bounds, smart play. You know, and there was how much he loves his job, how much his family loves being there. So Northwestern fans, who I, I think you're right, have been a little stressed out. This year's gone so well. Yeah. They've been worrying about whether it doesn't seem all that likely. So a handoff on first down after the penalty. Final four minutes now. From just isn't telling anybody about who the next defensive coordinator has been because that has been a huge part of the Northwestern program. The doctor of fundamentals. Third and two. Porter will be tackled short 